Hey guys, Perry here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Collider Behind the Scenes. Justin, listen up, Justin is a square. That's how he comments on all these videos. I'm about to make your dream come true because welcome to the food episode. Do you know what today's theme is? Stop cheating! What do you have over there? I have food. You are the queen of donuts. Right? So I have a test for you. I want you to guess which donut is from which place. Okay, okay, okay. Are you ready? So the five donut options are Entenmann's, Dunkin' Donuts, a healthy donut, yum yum, and Krispy Kreme. Okay, this might be <laughs> Krispy Kreme, so let me take a bite of this one first. This tastes like Krispy Kreme. It's five Krispy Kreme? Five is Krispy Kreme. Thank you, I will eat them. If you had to survive on just one food for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. would it be donuts? No, it actually wouldn't be donuts. What would it be? Um, one food? Just one food. It would be bread. It's all about textures. <laughs> Okay, so this one's super close to Krispy Kreme, but it's a little bit more doughy. Bread for me is a snack. Like, I eat bread as a snack. You know? There's nothing wrong with that. I'll just, like, <laughs> slice up bread and just, like, eat it without what, butter or anything. You don't, you don't put anything on your bread. Oh, no, like, I eat dry bagels. Everyone makes fun of me. I eat dry bagels almost every day. Number one is Entenmann's. Yes. Yeah. There we go. I didn't see how you can tell it's Entenmann's is all of the glaze right there. It's like a thick layer of glaze because the inside of the donut is so dry. So you know the best donut. Where's the best bagel from? Oh my God, it's so hard to bake. Would it be Panera? The Asiago cheese Never. bagel? No, but the, cin the cinnamon <laughs> crunch bagel at Panera is very good. I get these and I get them double toasted. You run it through the toaster once, it ain't enough. No, it's not. Twice. It's because they're so thick, that's why. I want black that's jar. That's what she said. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Yes. <laughs> it's so hard. You should try it. Do you cook anything for yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at making breakfast. OK. Well, then the healthy one has to be this weird looking piece okay. of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. And I then like this is place. Dunkin' Donuts, too. Bacon and eggs and mm. sausage, hash browns, potatoes, always. OK. This kind of sounds like my menu. Yeah, the trick is putting. Except I make my eggs in the microwave. Have you ever made scrambled eggs in the microwave? <laughs> It's possible, I swear. The te the Have you ever heard of anyone making scrambled eggs in a microwave? The texture is a little different, but I swear they taste the same way. It's yes. Can I have more of number five? So, do you know what today is behind the scenes theme is? Uh, marshmallows. It's just food in general. Really pale Don't get white too crazy. things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar with Chubby Bunny? Are we gonna do Chubby Bunny? Have you ever played Chubby Bunny before? In college. Have you ever Marshmallow. played Chubby Bunny? Of course I have. So you know the rules. The rules of this Chubby Bunny game, I'm going to ask you a question about food. Before you answer those questions, you have to put a marshmallow in. <laughs> you can't spit it out. Like, you answer a question, and then Can you I keep going. It it? Are you? She's going to say, that's what she said, <laughs> like, said 500 no. times. <laughs> They're sticky. I put it in my mouth. Yes, you eat the marshmallow. Don't eat it, though. All right, give me a chubby white thing to put in my mouth. I've said this before, all the belts, all the records. What's the record on this? I <laughs> <laughs> Ten and Ten. being able to uh, talk. Yes. Okay, done. Let's what see. is your favorite food? My favorite food are steak burritos. Sushi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do I say chubby bunny? Steak, mac and cheese. Spaghetti meatballs from My Little Tony's. From My Little Tony's. <laughs> You're gonna say My Little Ponies. And sparkle. She does a great spaghetti meatball. Yeah, just a really good steak. How do you take your steak? Medium rare. Mm. I order my steak very, very well done, but I've st I've started to of respect it. Do. No, no, no. Of course you do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's great. No. I'm really proud of myself for not having All dropped right. the eggs before so, we played the game. We're gonna do a little game called eggs. It is team nightmares. Versus team, what are you calling yourselves? William Pitts. William Pitts. Okay, versus, versus team. Whatever that is. There's some serious egg toss rules you need to be aware of. Okay. Shit. The way we're playing this game. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm way too centered for this. You, you, to died. you toss it once, and if you catch it, you go back. You take a step back. Yep. Oh, and you just keep taking shit. a step back until the eggs break. I agree with that. Mark. These. Whoa! Oh, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be, Go? Pizza. Steak. Used to be pizza, now it's burritos. Who cooks? Anybody but me. Do you read? Can you read a cookbook? No. Toss number one. Scary Perry never up! Yeah! Oh. Oh. Everyone take a step, step back. Step back, all right. Ready? Oh boy. Mark Riley! Woo! What? All right, what do you guys cook? My Steak? best my best dish is uh, either a homemade sauce or a pasta carbonara. 
Uh, I, I do a mean uh, steak with a, a great marinade on the grill with grilled artichoke and uh, some garlic fries. I really believe this. I'm a little Emmy. nervous. Hey, good luck. Oh, that's a short throw! Wow. <laughs> it has more pressure now. There's so much glass on the floor over here. If someone at the Collider office was gonna cook a meal for you, who is the last person you'd wanna cook that meal? I would, I would go Perry or Ellis. I've heard Perry talk about how she's really good at delivery and she makes eggs in the microwave. Though serviceable, I would rather have an omelet on a pan with like some olive oil, a little bit of mushrooms, maybe a fresh tomato covered with cheese, roll it in, put it right there on the plate. It's a short oh. throw! Yeah. What do you guys eat? to energize yourself for a day of work at Collider. Oh, that's easy. Just a frosty cold 12 ounce Coors Light. Yeah, nursing a hangover with a smoothie. Uh, breakfast burrito. Okay. Yeah, sure. He's never never once in the time we've worked have I seen you have a breakfast burrito. Oh, I eat a breakfast burrito on the way to work every morning. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Most important question right now, how do you take your eggs? Uh, I take them to the side and I eat the pancakes and the sausage. <laughs> well, you guys all know how I take them. In the freaking microwave. Like a boss. Oh, yeah. No way they get this. No way they get this. Yo, oh, God! Oh. Yes! Wow. Damn. Damn it. Uh, that's, my, that's my bad on that one. That's egg my Test bad. Champions of the World! Why don't you go home? Why don't you go home? That's your home over there. Why don't you fucking go home? I feel <laughs> I feel excellent about that segment. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Do you okay. cook? And if so, what is your best dish? Ooh, okay. I cook sometimes, but if I cook for you, 100% my hair is going to end up in your meal. I make a mean pasta sauce, homemade. I've been told my, my hamburgers are legendary. I like to make a chicken marsala. It's legit oatmeal. Like okay. I put the almond milk and the oats. Ooh. I put a little chia seeds, a little brown sugar. It's pretty nice. I just made chicken and mushrooms the other night. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. My face hurts. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to eat a meal prepared by someone at the Collider office, who is the last person you would pick? <laughs> Probably Schnupp. I also wouldn't want Cobster to make me a meal, strictly because I think he'd try to poison me. Okay. <laughs> I'm still articulate. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> we got to 10, I'm telling you right now. True or false, you can cook eggs in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is the right answer, everyone. All right, uh, we're gonna make some necklaces. <laughs> you sound some thrilled about pasta. it. Stennis, yes. when did you realize you were a, a super big foodie and you knew really good quality food? Actually, that already. did not happen until maybe the second half of college. Later on, when you actually get some money, you start eating a little better and realizing there's better things than eating McDonald's. Do you make anything at home? Right now I have Blue Apron. I don't always follow the recipe like exactly. I kind of look at what they say and then kind of use that as a guideline <laughs> to do the food. Have Plus, you ever made eggs in the microwave? No, I have not made <laughs> eggs in the microwave. Don't knock it till you try it. It's pretty good. Did you? Who did that? Someone threw something Who did that? I see marshmallows over here. I felt a marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> it's raining marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I just caught that in my mouth. That's what she said. Oh. oh. I think we did good. Yeah. That's a very pretty necklace you made. So, so yeah. is yours. Here we go. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> That was a good one. Cal, what's your, what's your favorite food, Cal? My favorite food is all food. I like all food because of the different sizes and smells, and it goes in my belly really easy because I'm a dog. And then what I do is I convert it to energy, and then I go poop it out. Give me two more. Oh, it's, so, it's so gross. Give me two. <laughs>
No way, Jeremy. And He's gonna... so freaking competitive. <laughs> it's insane. Oh my god. One more. One, one more. more. Spit or swallow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do with them? Oh no! <laughs> he was all oh. oh. swallow. No. What? <laughs> Come here. Come here. So, do you guys know what a pudding drop is? No? No? <laughs> I knew you were going to go there. Inappropriate. See that last Transformers movie? Pudding drop. Hey. There it is. In this version of the pudding drop, Grace and Copster, you got to lay on the floor and you hold a cup above your head and your partner needs to drop pudding until you fill the cup. And whoever fills the cup first wins. After your cup is filled, and I tell you that your cup is filled, the final thing is you have to drop a marshmallow in that cup. I am making all this shit up right now, and I don't care. Okay, are we ready for the first official collider pudding drop? Yeah. All right, ready? On your mark, get set, go! It's oh. Oh my God. You know how this feels like in the place. Oh, God, I'm spinning that. God damn it. Oh. Are you getting the new batch yet? Oh. oh! It feels like someone's taking a shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh. oh, it's fucking cold. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. 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 I feel like there's not gonna be enough pudding for them to fill the cups. Wendy, you're crushing this. I feel like I need to. This could be a game changer here. Oh, it's so close. Uh, hey, have you got yet? I think oh. we're ready to fall. It feels like a full. Oh, All right, you, drop your marshmallow. Drop your marshmallow. Oh, 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 oh. Tony, do it. Ah. Yes. Can we do it? Hey guys, it's Mark Riley here, or Yodi, current champion of the movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm here to award the belt to the current reigning champion of the world in the pudding drop. Copster, Cody, get over here and get your belt. Thank you. Wow. This How do you is, feel, guys? This is great. How you do you know, feel? I've never felt like a champion in my entire life. It's a great yeah. feeling. It's really, it really is. Would you want the pudding drop belt? I want the pudding drop belt, of course. <laughs> what do I gotta do? Pudding <laughs> drop 2017. You saw it here. I'm behind the scenes. That rhymed! Eggs can be made in that microwave. Just a little shell in there. It's fine. All right, I think that's good enough. Now you start the microwaving. It's a wonderful machine. While we wait, bloopers. I think a lot of girls in the comments are asking how is David Griffin still single. Yeah. We'll get to that later in the show. <laughs> is that really in the comments right now? <laughs> oh, it's always in the comments. Oh man. Oh, man. Dad gets to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There are some uh, excerpts in Entertainment Weekly. Are you, uh, okay. We're gonna do that. If you wanna just pull away from the graphic. Yeah, yep, is, there it is. See what yeah, happens see, is close, you can't focus. Close. See how cameras work is. Now it's not even in the shot. <laughs> there it is. I mean, I don't oh. know. David, what did you think of the 15 second tease? And the full trailer. Sorry. And the full trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Who's writing these notes? No, no, no. That'd no, we me. love Josh. Love Josh. This next one, are you not going to have your input? Uh, no, John did that for a reason. Question. 
No, I, okay. No, I just. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he didn't hear the question. He ran to, I the, ran bathroom. to the bathroom. Sorry, sorry. I just I ruined the whole almost facade. We almost made it out. <laughs> almost made it. How was your pee, Christian? It was great. Tell the world. <laughs> If I had hair, I'd look like Albert Einstein. I just don't, I don't have hair, so my um, hair can't look crazy. <laughs> What'd you say? I feel like... What, I can't look like Albert Einstein? <laughs> Why? Why? Why can't I look like Albert Einstein? You got something to say, Rick? <laughs> All right, let's talk about genius. <laughs> nope. <laughs> just a bit outside. They suck. Hey, welcome to Best Damn Movie Related Show on the Planet Earth. Coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank, California, and my camera somewhere else today. And we are so <laughs> glad you decided to make us a part of your day. Oliver Stone is a great filmmaker. We just did, you know, Snowden, of course, like, you know, um, uh, lamp Lampoon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> lampoon. Uh, um, what's, the, what's the Vietnam movie you made? Platoon. Platoon, yeah. <laughs> I knew it was like Lampoon. I knew Actually, it was Lampoon in there. Vietnam. This is going to be I know there was an Oon in there somewhere. Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the Best Damn Move Related Show on the Planet Earth. Coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank, California. Going to take a guess as to which one's my camera today. <laughs> also Aww. joining us. There I am. Yeah. I'm over there today. How you doing? Still back at the same time. I got it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Johns is a professional in every sense of the word. Mark. That guy knows how to Mark. look down the barrel of a camera. Over there. It's that way. I think Pretty Little Liars was a fun miniseries to watch, too. That's fun. I mean, that kind of blew my mind. Big Little Lies. What did I say? You said Pretty Little Liars. Oh, Pretty Little Liars. I'm sorry to say. Have you been watching Pretty Little Liars? I meant Big Little Lies on HBO with Nicole Kidman. Oh, God. I almost fell in love with you. You can find me on Instagram at RM Burnett. You can find me pounding this man sometime in the future on a Schmodown. Wow. Buy me dinner first, my Yeah, can you say that in a different way that's pounding him down? Okay, there you go. Bam, 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 bam. Got it. You people. <laughs> People. I know Sinead loved it. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, she does love love, love dick. Is, that's 40 times we've had dick already, and I, yep. I love it. I think it's hysterical. I'm sure that's not the first sexual um, comment you've gotten with Chick. Is actually, it? it is. No one made any sexual comments. Can you believe it? The episode. first sexual comment came from and Natasha you know, Martinez. Nobody said that's what she said. Nothing at all. Everyone was very, uh, very, very. Wow, not even you when know. you said spit or swallow? Yeah, no, no, one no, said no. It didn't register with anybody. This episode of Collider Behind the Scenes is. Like parent approved? I don't know. Go show it well, to your kids. Don't sorry, do that. Actually, don't do that at all. <laughs> all right, David Griffin. Where can they find you? Um, you find me on. <laughs> sorry, Did that. you forget where you're in? <laughs> right that. Oh, oh that. <laughs> It'll take three and a half minutes. You, you always say it. Three and a half like, minutes. No, you this, time and it goes it's like not half possible. An hour. There's a time limit on the game. It's not possible. Set up and it's not. There is no setup. Frank has the camera. Every time. Nope. Nope. I don't lie. What are you talking about? Every time you come in here and you say it's gonna take three minutes, and these fucking things are like an hour. No. Ryan Helgeland. 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 You crushed your prep here today, Shane. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> this is never gonna work. Oh. <laughs> it appears that George R. R. Martin's procrastination on actually finishing the book series is real and the TV going audience can reveal revel in the world. <clears throat> Whew, all right. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Oh, sorry. Look, you can say they're just shut the fuck up. Oh, God. You shut up. All right, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's, that's just all. That's, what, uh, all that's what they call a transition in the business. <laughs> yeah. I knocked that out of the park. But my neck was just stay. Now what the fuck is happening here? Okay. Is Perry, that good? Perry cursing. The, the people love it all. <laughs> I know. One, two, two three. three. Oh. Oh, oh come oh. on, Makuga. <laughs> I caught it and I stayed in bounds. For my second pitch. <laughs> Oh, wait, when does it start? Whenever you start talking. <laughs> oh, start boy. Talking. Hold on, let me Can we reset, reset the timer? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Is that the last egg left? It's just the last egg, egg, egg left. Egg. Brothers last and egg. eggs. Egg sandwich right there. <laughs> Would you look at that? 
perfectly good scrambled eggs in the microwave. I made you something. Oh no. Can you try it? Uh, <laughs> I know what this is. It's hot, it's hot. Are they edible? Sure. Are they good? Mm, I'm gonna edge on the side of no. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's all we got. Clearly you have learned that you can cook eggs in the microwave on this episode of Collider Behind the Scenes. So that's all we got for you today. While you go and you try to make your eggs in the microwave, why don't you just play some of these great videos in the back? There's so many more episodes of Collider Behind the Scenes. And you know what? These are pretty damn good. Thanks for watching. See you next time.